Expand is a very powerful feature of the Stripe API. It's a parameter that enables retrieving additional information in a single API call. The best way to understand what Expand can do and how to use it is to look at a few concrete examples. So that's what we'll do in this video. Let's say we want to retrieve an existing payment intent. Using curl, we send a GET request to this endpoint with a specific object ID. When running that command, we get back a JSON containing information about the payment intent. This includes its ID, status, amount, customer, latest charge, and many more properties that are not listed here. Now, what if we wanted to know the name of the customer who made that payment? That information is stored in the customer object. Since we know the customer ID, we could make a second API call to retrieve the customer and see its name. That works, but we can do better with expand. This time, let's retrieve the payment intent while setting the expand parameter. It takes an array of property names. Here, we set it to customer. In the response, we get the payment intent like before, but we also get the full customer object. This means we directly have access to all the customer's properties, including its name. As you can see, using expand is quicker and more efficient than making two different API calls. It's also possible to expand multiple properties at a time when needed. For example, if we set expand to customer and latest charge, then we get back a payment intent which contains both the customer object and the charge object. And we can expand multiple levels by separating property names with a period. For example, if we set expand to latest charge dot balance transaction, then we get back the payment intent, the charge, and the balance transaction. Note that everything we covered also works when listing objects. For example, here we are calling the list payment intent endpoint, and we get back an object with a data array containing two payment intents. If we want to retrieve the corresponding customer objects, we set expand to data.customer, and as expected, the customers are now in the response. Let's look at one last example to request includable properties. When retrieving a checkout session, we get many useful properties like its status, total amount, and so on. However, the line item property is not there for performance reasons. This means we are missing some important information like the price ID, product ID, and the quantity that was bought. To have that property included in the response, we need to use expand like this. Now we get back the checkout session with the line items property, which contains the information we were looking for. If needed, we can use the Stripe API reference to check which properties can be expanded or included. For example, here is the payment intent object. If we look at the customer property, it is marked as expandable. Okay, I'll stop here. Hopefully that gives you a good idea of what is expand and how to use it.